Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Anyone subscribed, welcome back. Anyone new, welcome. Um, if you are new, if you guys can leave a like and a sub to our channel, that'd be fantastic. Uh, we're just trying to reach the 200 subscriber mark by the uh, end of this year. If you guys can do that for me, that'd be great. Other than that, for today's video, it's basically another review video. Um, usually I don't do, try to do too many of these unless it's something that I really enjoy playing or something that's super and utterly bad. <coughs> Redfall. <coughs> well, other than that, um, so I've been playing this game called Caliber. It's currently free on Steam. You guys can go check it out. I'll leave the link for it down below in the uh, description. Um, it is, uh, I guess it's published and created by 1C Gaming Studios. And I was able to get a website, so we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, website stuff and then uh, actually get into the game, show you guys what the whole menu and stuff looks like, and then we'll get in some gameplay and then opinions probably during the gameplay. So, all right. So, I guess we're going to get into this. Where is the thing at? I think it's the about section. Ah, here it is. All right. So, they're, uh, they do have some history. Uh, so, it looks like the studio was founded in 2012. Um, and then after that, they, uh, looks like they did a game called IL2 something great battles. I don't know how to say that, but that was created in 2013. So the original, so Caliber wasn't actually in development until 2015. And then after that, it was announced in 2016. And then they started open beta in 2019, hitting a hit the million mark for Caliber in February of 2020 released to finally English users by 2021. And then ever since then, it's been out. And uh, for re recently, a release on Steam. So this is originally why I'm doing this. I actually want to bring awareness to this game. I actually do enjoy it. Um, 1C Gaming Studios is... Um, they are based out of Russia currently. So I don't know. Don't really want to get into that. But yeah, so they're based out of Russia. And I would just kind of wanted to bring awareness. This is a game I play pretty often. I have over like 70 hours right now. On that, we're going to go ahead and get into the... Uh, main menu and stuff and give you guys the gist of things all right so with some basic bitch video editing <coughs> um this is caliber so this is basically when it's basically where you'll open up everything it's kind of what you you mainly see the operator you use last for the most part um so the game does offer about six three six five modes you have some pve modes you got a pvp -E mode and then you got pvp modes i mainly play the pvp modes the ones you guys see in the shorts are mainly uh in the pv is showdown for the most part i am going to start getting into ranked i just need to get some skill i need to get some basic skills for them because the skills kind of play a part in ranked battles so and you guys will see what i'm talking about here in a bit um, so it does offer those modes. Um, you get your you get your daily challenges. You get your tutorial missions, which I have not finished. You have your dailies, your weeklies. So it's pretty basic stuff. <laughs> now the one turn off that the game does offer is premium, and I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, just for the and it's just for the sheer fact they have to spend money. I understand that the developers have to make money. So this is one of the ways they do try to do it, and so you can basically spend your premium coins or whatever and spend them on getting premium which will give you basically more uh get more operator xp and more operator xp and also more credits so you get your full amount of credits per game which it is what it is i guess so there is that um like i said there's also currency conversions too so you can convert your premium credits into actual credits which you can use to upgrade operators buy operators or whatever you so choose um <clears throat> other than that we're going to get into the operator part of it and this is basically the huge chunk of the game right here is how many operators they offer so there's about over 60 plus so there's 60 plus operators and it basically is uh grouped up into different classes so you have your marksman class medic class support class and assault class i'm not going to go into any of those you guys should already know what those do but for the most part um they do each operator basically has their own niche and different things that separates them from other operators and definitely other skills that separate them and i was also talking about so each operator basically has a personal skill and those personal skills are so for example on diablo's skill here he has a thermographic sight so each skill is pretty much different and buffs them in a small way so the skills aren't really like a huge part of the game but they can be definitely change how the game is played so, and each operator can basically have up to four skills. And um, as you can see here, there's also a skill tree. So it makes the game very grindy. 
at times and that's also something i hate the most of because i don't have a lot of time in my day so the game's definitely grindy it's one of the other things that really uh turn turn me off from this game at times but other than that like i said we'll get into that when we start getting into the gameplay stuff and uh each operator basically has their own attachments for their primary so you could do get a primary secondary and you get a special gear so you can get it like a grenade launcher or smoke grenades it's it can be anything pretty much it just depends on the operator really then they also come with their own skill set of skills um other than that we're gonna want to get into the gameplay i'm kind of express some concerns some opinions and then we'll uh go from there all right see you guys in a bit all right we are back so um like i said we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty uh all the positive things all the negative things um like i said the game has its issues on its own but you can decide whether they're issues or not um, some positive things I have to say is that the third person controller is fantastic. Switching from first third to first is really nice. I meaning switching down to the iron sights which is really nice. Um, switching sides feels fantastic. Now a lot third person controller is one of those harder things to really nail down when it comes to games and they did a really great job with that. Uh, gunplay is nice. Also, um, I felt like it was very smooth shooting some of the guns. Um, Am I going to say it's realistic? Yes and no at times. This kind of really depends because, like I said, we have personal skills, which there's one that does recoil reduction. So um, recoil isn't very realistic. Semi-realistic, I guess. They try to. So um, gunplay is fantastic. Um, one negative thing I can say right now when it comes to game regarding gameplay is latency. Um, the reason why I recommend do talk about this is because when it comes to players with higher ping they can definitely outplay you at times especially when it comes to snipers and you can really feel it too because you can you really think you um hit the guy and you really didn't and sometimes like the hit registration is not there sometimes so latency is one of the huger issues so just be aware that when it comes to players with higher ping you're probably gonna most of the time you're gonna have to either try to outplay them in, in a different way or you're gonna or you're gonna get outplayed which kind of really sucks. So latency is probably one of the huger issues. Uh, another issue I think I can really think of is operator balance. Um, some operators feel useless, they, even though they have these wide variety of operators. It does feel they some of them do feel useless at times. And for example, the newest operators they just released, and it's mainly or like a, he's more of a medic operator so his ability this is more of an example of anything there's there's more operators and you'll you'll see it but he literally has a plate that heals people which you have to attach to your teammates so the throw plate for this range or a throw plate for these plates really suck first off second off some of the time was like when the when your teammates are like moving and stuff sometimes the plates just bounce right off of them so like it just some of these abilities make no sense and they're typically useless. If anything, it's mainly the gunplay with some of these operators when they have these shitty abilities. So it's mainly the gunplay that really makes them stand out a little bit more. Um, definitely, if you, and then another thing is also the personal skill system. I feel like it needs to be worked a little bit better just so that way um, it can change make it make it worth the grind because if you're going to grind out and literally get make 486,000 credits i feel like the personal skills should be really worth it so if they're not worth it dude there's no point in grinding for it oh and that's another thing too is the grind that's another thing i have to gripe with so when it comes to grinding um like i said it takes about 486,000 just to get through the character tree alone and then it t and it takes about 100 to about 200,000 to buy each operator and like i discussed earlier or like i said earlier it's gonna take it takes about you only get like 150k when you complete all your dailies and all your weeklies combined so it makes the grind definitely long so they try to and they try to get people to really spend money when it comes you know to the grind so you can either pay to skip the it's mainly pay to skip the grind it's not more or less where it's pay to win um so when it comes to that i mean it kind of just depends because it's like it's about 20 bucks per operator pretty much and so you're basically paying forking over twenty dollars per operator, and there's over over sixty operators. So it's, it just depends on whether you want to spend your money or not. And then also you got to get premium on top of that, so that way you can get the max amount of credits you can get per or max amount of XP that you can get per match. 
So uh, it kind of really just depends on what you want to do. I mean, for me anyway, anyway, I don't really have the time to play, but I try to make the time to play the game because the matches are pretty short. And that's another thing. The matches are at least short and manageable. So if you're a working guy, so matches are definitely short. But if you don't have the time to get all these credits and stuff, I suggest either forking over the $20 or don't even touch the game at all. Um... Other than that, there's not really a lot of negative things. They definitely have a lot of stuff to work on. Um, it's just it's a, it's a really good game overall. I would like to see more newer players get into the game, but I understand for newer players it might be a little bit more difficult with how in-depth it can be. Once you get down to handle the gameplay loop, things get a lot easier because it definitely took me a while to get really used to everything. So once you get you once you get a handle on that, the game gets a lot easier and it can be fun. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much all I really have to say about the game. The game's a great game. I think everyone should really at least at least give it a try. If it's not your cup of tea, then understandable. But other than that, my opinions are my opinions at the end of the day, and I will probably continue to say that as long as this channel lives. Um, last thing I'm probably going to leave you guys off with, if you are a new player or looking to get into the game and you're looking for some people to really help you out, um, if you guys join the actual official Caliber Discord, it is mainly um, in Russian. So I suggest joining the Discord that I have joined. Um, shout out to my boy Stretch. I ended up playing with him a few games, and he really got me into the Discord. I was able to squat. I've been able to squat up people with the, the people lately a lot easier because there's a lot more U.S. players. So if you're, you are a U.S. player and you can't find anybody within your time zone to play with, I suggest joining the Discord, which I will have linked down below. And if you guys don't want to do that, uh, the Discord is called Caliber Caliber Cartel. But I've been trying to have people look for it, but they still can't find it. So I'm just going to link it down below. Um, other than that, enjoy the rest of the video. See you guys on the next one. Mm-hmm.